Hi guys, how's it going? So I just planted up three delphiniums um, in front of my house, my front flower bed. And I just wanted to walk you through which delphiniums I planted and why I decided to put them there. So in this front flower bed, I had some big shrubs. I cut some out. <laughs> if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below. I walked you through which shrubs I was gonna cut out dig out um i dug out some rip balls but there's few like that one is in there and <laughs> i was trying and trying the other day with the shovel to break through the roots but i'm just gonna have to get some loppers or some other cutting tool to just cut through those roots because they're deep um anyway so i needed something because i knew the spirea was gonna keep getting a little bit bigger and I have a big barberry right there. So I wanted a flowering perennial since all I had up front here was just shrubs. So I wanted to start adding some perennials in. Um, so I thought I needed something tall in the back that is fine with partial shade because um, it really doesn't get any sun until midday or like afternoonish. So um, the first thing that came to mind was delphiniums. So the delphiniums that I plan to get about four to six feet tall, which will be perfect. they will be like these tall spikes in the back. And then I wanna have um, like different layers. So I'm gonna have like the tall delphiniums. I'll have the spirea and a couple other shrubs that are down here. And then I do have some Asiatic lilies and I wanna be planting some coneflowers or echinacea in front. And I want room for spring flowers like, um, tulips i would love to say hellebores but we live in a zone three so i'll have to check i know most hellebores are not zone three some are so i'll have to do some digging on what ones but i want layers different levels everything um to have a different part of the season so you know you know how it works so i planted three total delphiniums one is blooming let me show you Okay, so this one I planted in the middle. Well, I suppose I should show you first. 
Here's my kitchen window. You can see my fountain through both windows. Um, so I planted two on either side of that spirea. Um, and then I have a hydrangea there. That hydrangea does not get real tall and it dies back to the ground every year and starts fresh. Ooh! I, oh, never mind. I thought that was a bud. Never mind. So it doesn't get real tall. And then on that side, I have a spirea. So right in the middle, I wanted to plant a delphinium. So that will get, you know, four to six feet tall. Um, so that one and the one right over here are both this one. The Page and Purple New Millennium Page and Purple's Hybrid B Delphinium, which I think will look gorgeous. And these, again, grow four to six feet and you space them out 18 to 24 inches. Um, it just says for light more than four hours of daily sun, they will get more than four hours. Like I said, it's like afternoon. Um, so like one to 2 p.m. onward is when they'll get sun. Zone three to seven, which we are zone three, and it blooms early summer, and then it will rebloom as well. So that's super exciting. And then this one, this one is slightly different. You can see if the first one I showed you had all blue, no light um, inner flower. This one is absolutely gorgeous. It has that beautiful, like blue outer petals going into purple, and then that cream color on the inside and that one is and this one is a it just says mf dark blue or dark b delphinium which height is a little bit shorter 10 to 24 inches spacing 18 to 24 um just says water when dry hardy 40 below which is good for us blooms late spring through summer so yeah and one thing i love about delphiniums is they naturalize or every year they come back with more plants so i did cut quite a big hole in landscape fabric honestly i don't like landscape fabric if you are going to be constantly planting new things changing up the garden all that if you um if you have a spot where you just plant it all in once and you know you're never going to change it then i'm fine with the landscape fabric um but i just want to change some stuff up sometimes things grow sometimes things don't work out you want to move it around and landscape bad work it's easier to weed yes but it's just a hassle when you plant but I did plant a or I did cut a large circle of landscape fabric around the plant so it has room to naturalize and come up more and then the more they grow and produce then um, I'll probably go in and cut more off around the landscape fabric. So anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you next time. Bye.